Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out something I've really enjoyed using over the years. Uh, it is called Weddy. Um, it is a web terminal that you can use to SSH um, into different servers and stuff, and it's all through a browser. So you can run it in Docker, you can do, um, you can just build it through NPM, um, and all kinds of stuff like that. It's really, really cool. Um, I've used it a lot. You may remember that I made a video somewhat recently about a virtual machine manager thing that I created um, a while back. And I used Weddy to automatically kind of SSH into them. Um, Weddy, actually, I had like two instances of it, like redundant ones. And essentially what it would do is it would create a new connection um, every time a virtual machine was created. That way it could just be used to SSH into it through the web browser. Um, and also it would automatically uh, create a subdomain, um, just like a randomized subdomain. Um, that way you could easily bookmark it and access it again in the future. So um, overall, really cool. Um, I'm going to show you kind of how easy it is to set up. Uh, it's it's really simple. So so yeah, let's look here. This is their GitHub page. Um, and basically, <clears throat> like I said, literally just a web, uh, web terminal. You can do terminal access in a browser over HTTP or HTTPS. <clears throat> it's very configurable. Um, really easy to build uh, with NPM or like I said, with the Docker container. You can also throw this behind Nginx, which is what I did. So you are able to kind of proxy it. So you can proxy to the IP of your Weddy um, interface, um, I guess host. <clears throat> so you can proxy to the IP of your Weddy um, service and then on port 3000 slash Weddy. And essentially that's really all you have to do in Nginx. My Nginx config looked a little different when I had my virtual machine manager, but that's because I was doing all the fancy stuff with the subdomains. But yeah, so let's take a look here. I'm gonna copy this command, this Docker command, and we're gonna fire this up here in a terminal. And like I said, this is this is really easy. So you'll paste this in, you'll give it an IP address, which in my case, I'm going to do 192.168.1.98. Um, and we got a permission denied. If you throw a pseudo before it, you'll be fine. You'll see, so it's gonna pull the image. I believe, if I remember correctly, you can change kind of what the interface looks like, the colors. Um, but they do also have um, features with like automatic login. You can download files. It's a really nice project to do. Um, I think it's one of those great learning experiences, kind of seeing how it works. And it's good practice installing a Docker container. And I think what is really useful too, because uh, if you had a iPad or something like that, you wanted to SSH from, you could do it all through your web browser, or if you're on a computer that's not yours, as long as you know the login and you know the URL of your Weddy interface, you can log into it. And essentially, like security, from a security standpoint, it's pretty much the same as port forwarding. Um, you'll port forward your web server, and then essentially you can just um, port forward. Essentially, you can just log in with your SSH credentials. And you'll see, uh, we loaded it up, and this is pretty much what it is. Okay, so I found the login for this device. I forgot what it was. Basically, type in the username, and there you go. So... Up in the top right, you'll see there are some settings you can do. Like I said, you can change kind of what it looks like, change the font size. I did bump this up definitely to like 30 or something. But yeah, it's generally just really cool. Uh, so this does not save to the Weddy interface, um, but these settings are just for each session. But really easy to adjust. You can change the colors and you can change their sounds that you can add as well. I think it's a really, really cool um, interface. And this is going to be a really short video today. So if you find a use for Weddy, um, let me know. But yeah, that's about all I have to say. Uh, it's literally just like a normal terminal. You can run whatever command. It just mimics the um, terminal of your device you're connected to because it's SSH. So anyways, uh, that is about it. Uh, I wanted to share this today. I think it's really cool. So um, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you all next week.